thinking I should have brung the truck. Definitely isn't the road for this tiny little Kia Soul. Welcome everyone, Team 7 on another adventure. Well, it's just me, just the 7 again. AKA Anthony, AKA Capone, AKA Big Daddy. Um, here on a little uh, Scooby-Doo type mystery machine uh, adventure here. You're probably wondering, I'm here in the middle of nowhere, um, somewhere. Looks like out in the field, down a pretty, pretty, pretty abandoned road. Well, just well, a forgotten road, as you can see. Cobblestone road. This road right here was really built for uh, stagecoaches and horses and whatnot. Enough about the road. I'm here for uh, for one thing and one thing only. For this little piece of uh, American history, Florida history. Let uh, you see for yourself. It's an obelisk erected in 1930. October 1930. Welcome to Polk County Citrus Center. I don't know if you noticed, but they spelled citrus wrong. C-I-T-U-R-S. Now I've read articles uh, that maybe they were thinking about moving these obelisks to parks and making them more accessible, but uh, I think it's uh, much cooler here and it's a uh, natural, natural habitat. Looks way more, way, way better. Okay, so I'm back in the car. A lot of mosquitoes out there. Um, as you can tell, if you look out the window, it's a lot of marshy area in this area right here. So, lots and lots of mosquitoes out there biting, so I jumped back in the car. But as you can see right here in front of me, is the obelisk still sitting right there. Welcome you to Polk County, Citrus Center. Citrus Center of the world, Citrus Center of Florida. Maybe Citrus Center of the universe, who knows? But uh, I found out that there was three of them. This one was, uh. I think they call this the Forgotten Monument Number Two. So we're off to see the other two. Um, forgotten Monument Number One and Forgotten Monument Number Three. Join us. Or should I say, join me. Yeah, I definitely should have brought the truck. I didn't think this one all the way through. But uh, on to Monument Number One. All on the other side of uh, Poe County. In fact, the other side of Lakeland. I believe in Kathleen. I'm on my way down into State 4, headed to uh, the next obelisk, the next uh, welcome center marker for Polk County. I wanted to record a little bit more over there. Had a lot more things to say. Um, I really wanted to get the drone out and do a few uh, flybys and, uh, and a few aerial shots, but. Uh, was approached by one of the other residents. We got to talking. Um, nice gentleman. Wasn't being rude or, or anything. Um, but suggested nicely that I shouldn't. So me being well aware of my surroundings at all time and knowing where I'm at. <laughs> and believe me, the moment I pulled up, they all knew I was there. Um, it was quite little little roadways, maybe a quarter mile long. Um, I'm pretty sure everybody knows everybody. Um, and there was people watching me as soon as, as soon as I pulled the car over to the side and uh, started to record it, starting to uh, record. Um, there was people there. I don't know if you can see it in the background. Um, and uh, another gentleman uh, pulled up on the side too. He was watching me. I don't know if you can see, probably can see it in the GoPro because GoPro has a wide angle uh, lens on it. And then you can see the Jeep there off to the side um, in the background. And, um, you know, spoke to him also about the area. So, um, it's funny, too, because every time I think about Polk County, Polk County, um, citrus everywhere. I keep forgetting that US-27 runs through Polk County, also just north of uh, Polk County in Lake County, Claremont. There's the Citrus Tower 
where back in the day you would climb up in there and you can see citrus trees for miles and miles. Um, now you climb up there and you see uh, the roof of houses. So, but um, and also too, I forget frostproof, uh, frostproof Florida. It's a little tongue twister for me. Frostproof is also uh, in Lake in uh, Polk County. Excuse me. Frostproof is also in Polk County, Florida. So, so I guess they uh, they are the citrus center. So, I always think of phosphate and Publix whenever <laughs> whenever I think of uh, of Polk County. Okay, so here we are. Forgotten Citrus Monument number one. There it is. In fact, this is the, uh, it's a very busy block right here. Very busy street. As you can see. Polk County, entering Polk County. And then if you look across the street, you can see right down there, there's another sign that says uh, entering Hillsborough. Hillsborough County. So we're right on uh, County Line Road between Hillsborough County and uh, and Polk County. I believe this is the one that uh, this picture right up here. That's the picture that started it all. I saw that picture, read an article. I saw there were talks about possibly uh, moving these obelisks to a park, sit more prominent locations. But uh, like I said, I like to see everything in its uh, natural natural habitat the way it was. It's a very busy block. There's a little car parked over there to the side, but uh, it's pretty cool. This is pretty cool, pretty cool. I, I, I love this sort of stuff. Um, just unassuming, just here forever, 88 years. People driving by every day. Um, not even really giving it a second thought. I guess now they're giving it a second thought, wondering what's that crazy dude doing there on the side of the road with the camera in his hand? What is he recording? This is it. monument number three and there it is right where they left it 88 years ago okay and here we are the last of the three monuments i believe well all i could find was three if uh if you know where there's another monument hope county citrus center monument uh come in the comments below and uh i'll head out that way to visit that one too but uh here it is Polk County Citrus Monument, all the same inscriptions, October 1930, welcome to Polk County Citrus Center. Uh, this one, this one looks like, this one looks like it's been hit a few times. This is right off of 98, this is 98 right here. It's 98. Going towards Pasco County. As you can see that across the street, that's what the modern markers look like nowadays. It's just a small little brick wall. Polk County, it's got the citrus on it. And this is, this is how they used to do it 88 years ago. Back in the 20th century, early 20th century. Um, I much prefer that one. I much prefer that one. Any day of the week. That is, that, that just has a presence. That, that definitely, definitely says something. Says, uh, welcome to Polk County. And it's funny, like all of them, as you're leaving the county, it's barren, it's blank, doesn't have anything on it. So three sides, all of them were the exact same way. Um, this one also stands a lot taller than the other two. Um, the base on this one it's got several tiers it has three it has three tiers all the other ones it was just the base in the ground then the uh then a platform and then the obelisk on top of that but this one i wonder if all of them look like this originally now 
now that I think about it. They call that the Forgotten Citrus Monument. Forgotten Polk County Citrus Monument. This one here doesn't look like it's been forgotten about. Also one to two. Like the other one, how many people just drive by and pay no attention until, until they hit it. Because <laughs> obviously someone is someone has hit that one but uh there you have it it's the old that's the new yeah i, I much I much more prefer the old all right so uh i guess we'll end this video here got a long way home like i said i've been on the road already for three hours rounding all this up getting this all together so i'm gonna head back towards the homestead and uh give me something to eat I'm hungry. <laughs> if you like the video uh give it a thumbs up if you'd like to join our team be part of the team seven family uh just hit the subscribe button if you like to see more videos or see videos every time we upload a new one uh, just hit the bell icon right next to the subscribe button and until the next adventure deuces I told a little untruth. That is not the last adventure. Just driving down from the obelisk, the Polk County thing, and uh, I noticed uh, I noticed this little area right here. Um, take a look for yourself. Now I am just standing outside the gate. Um, I don't know if it's open to the public or not, but uh, yeah, I don't just walk into other people's property. This is Florida. I do have castle laws here. It is right to carry, so uh, uh, yeah. I was just uh, on my way home and passed by and lo and behold, the adventures are never over. See what I'm telling you? The adventures are never over. Look at that. That looks pretty cool. It's funny. I drove right by. I just just came up the road behind us. That's a old date city road right there i just came up around there um, noticed the house i was like oh man that's a pretty awesome house as i was coming around but uh my mind was preoccupied with uh finding the obelisk you know the polk county citrus center monument and uh didn't really notice it from the side and then i'm coming down 98 and uh, lo and behold obviously somebody lives here because the garbage can is out there's another little area on this side. Once again, I do not want to go in there. But I am fascinated by that dragon back there. I don't know if you can see back there, but there's a rather large dragon. And, uh, man, it's, it's got me thinking. Hmm. Things that make you go, hmm. Um, but yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna head home, try to do a little bit more research on this place and uh, find out what it is. And if at all possible, someday return 
up definitely. I don't know if you can see it from here. Uh, all the way right there in the back. That is a huge dragon head. And that is, uh, looks to be quite a big dragon. Uh, from here, it looks to be about 35, 40 feet maybe. Um, no, I had an idea, but uh, nah. So, uh, <laughs> uh, all right. I guess this is one of those adventures we'll return to uh, at a later date. But man, I'm. Yo, know, it's. It, it definitely got me wondering. Definitely, definitely, definitely got me wondering. So. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> this time it's for real. Deuces.